Hey everybody, and welcome to my latest unboxing video. Um, this is the one that I've been sort of promising as the quote-unquote big, big unboxing. And yeah, look who's in here again. She can't stay out of my videos. But anyway, it, it this is like the big one that I've been promising. But it's only kind of part of it because, yeah, I had ordered so much stuff that the seller had to split the shipment into two parts. I only have the, I've only gotten the first shipment in. I guess I'll get the other one maybe next week sometime. Uh, but I probably would have split the unboxing into two parts anyway, because it, it just would have been too much stuff to put in one video. My videos tend to run long as it is. And then I've got some other stuff that I um, got in from other sellers, which was just little bits here and little bits there, and it didn't warrant you know, an unboxing video for itself, so I'm just gonna show you what it is now. And then I'm, yeah, I have other stuff I'm waiting on, but I'll get to that later. But anyway, let's get started on the little bits first, and then I'll get you the, to the bigger unboxing in a minute. Some of this stuff I've opened, most of it I haven't. Uh, this first thing here uh, it's well yeah normally as usual I forgot the name but it looks like little chocolate you know ball shaped thingies and it says on there was it choco to waffle corn to almond and then it says sacco sacco she choco deo I'm assuming that it's like waffle corn to me I guess it's like a cereal type texture or consistency like a chocolatey cereal or something like that you have those weird little bits in there you see it little, little white pellets I don't know I don't know what that is I don't think it's the almonds in here it has a very odd look to it and I hope it tastes better than it looks honestly <laughs> and then you can actually see the little individual packets in there okay so the next one this is called dragon beard candy and yeah I kind of just bought this just because of that name and this isn't a Japanese candy this is actually the first and currently only Chinese candy that I bought um, and it's almond flavor to me it kind of looks you know speaking of like cereal to me that kind of looks like like an albino shredded wheat <laughs> it kind of has that look but it's not cereal. I actually was curious about this candy, so I looked it up on Wikipedia, and it dates back to like, oh gosh, like seriously, the I don't know, like centuries old. I can't remember. You can check it out for yourself, but it's it's ancient candy, and it's made out of sponge sugar. So even though it has the look on the box of shredded wheat, it's sugar. Uh, I guess it's maybe like a cotton candy type thing. And the little spots in there, I guess, is the almond flavor. I don't know if it's a paste or a jelly or what. But that's that. And now the person that sent me this candy, or these two boxes, actually sent me some bonus items. Which is kind of nice when you get things you didn't you know expect it's like a little present or surprise or whatever and this is the first one which yeah I don't know what this is it's it, oops it feels hard you heard that it feels something like hard candy so and let's see this is another one this is like well on the package it kind of looks I don't know if you can see that it kind of looks like ice cream like vanilla ice cream with little chocolate bits in it and then caramel sauce on the top so maybe it's an ice cream flavor whatever this is little 
creepy-eyed guy on the back. And another one. And again, there's really no writing on there. Oh. On the back it says sweet sweeta or something. It feels again like a hard candy. But it's a cute package. It very springtimey. I don't know. This would have been good in like a Easter basket. And Easter's coming up, so maybe I'll eat this on Easter. <laughs> uh, okay. And then this one. It's like, well, it says on there, obviously it's strawberry, whatever this is. Strawberry flavored, maybe it. Oh, and then, yeah, when I first saw that, I thought, I know it's not English, but to me that looks like it says foil, like the word foil, because <laughs> it looks like that first thing character right there, and if you can pull back out and see that, so, yeah, doesn't that look like an F-O-I-L, like foil, yeah, that's what I thought when I first saw it, but anyway, it's. A strawberry flavored something and it kind of has a the shape to me of like a starburst chewy candy I don't know if it's chewy or what but yeah. and then another one in that same shape and it, I guess this is just the lemon flavor of whatever this candy is so whatever that is and I think he sent me is that it? Uh, oh, no, there's a couple more. And then this is another freebie he sent me. And this is similar to this one. Just a different color. I guess it's a different flavor. And maybe what I'm thinking is that this is like a green tea flavor because it's a green package. And this one maybe is like a plum or something like that. And this last one here. Something candy. It has got a cow on there. Little moo cow. And then on the back it says milk coffee candy. So I obviously know what that flavor is. But I think these are all little little hard candies that he sent. Which is really sweet and nice. Okay. The next thing. Um, so I got two packages of this melty kiss rum and raisin and I really was not planning to buy this but I saw the video from Wow Pow and they reviewed this candy and they made it sound pretty good and even though I don't drink alcohol and I'm not crazy about fruit and chocolate as I said I went ahead and bought this stuff so We'll see. I'm still not convinced that this is going to be something I like, but it's a beautiful box, though. Purple is my favorite color, and, you know, it's embossed, and it's really nice box, so. I don't know that the box wor was worth buying it, if the candy is terrible to me, but we'll see. And then this one, this is another Melty Kiss. Melty Kiss Dew, like, do the do. <laughs> And this one I'm pretty sure I will really like because I love chocolate and caramel and this obviously has both of those in it. Little pyramid shapes. Obviously these were built by ancient Egyptians at some point. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's like a molten center. And I got, yeah, two boxes of that. And the last bit in this bag, okay. this is actually my very, very first um, Japanese Kit Kat. I like I like Kit Kats, but for some reason I just I never had a particular interest to try all these weird <laughs> flavors that the Japanese you know put in the Kit Kats, and then another. Uh, YouTubers, um, Sound System Man, I think is his name. He reviewed this pumpkin Kit Kat, 
And I said, well, okay, I'll go ahead and try it and just see. Um, see, have a break, have a Kit Kat. I don't mind if I do. Yeah, so, and then the still art had two uh, in their auction. You could get two, and it included shipping. So I said, I don't know what the heck, I'll go ahead and try it. And you get, and there's two different uh, packages. Obviously, this is a special limited edition Kit Kat. Oh, and it's got ghosts. I just noticed that. Limited edition Kit Kat that they put out for Halloween. And I guess no other time, so, yeah. So, let's get over, move over to the other area. And, uh, so, just real quick. This is the stuff I got, or I've showed in my other videos, my other unboxing videos. And if you're interested in seeing what all is in here, just check them out. I'll put the links at the end of this video. But put that away for now. And okay. So this this is the half of the big unboxing, but we'll, we'll save that to for oh you know what? I got <laughs> I got another box over here. I almost forgot about this one. Okay, this one... Yeah, this one I had sort of opened, peeked in... Yeah, but I didn't take it out. So, let's see. Okay, this actually... This is the only thing I actually opened and sampled. My wasabi! And I'm kind of glad that I did. Because... I never had wasabi peas before until like a couple of months ago and I got them at a grocery store well not nearby where I live it's like a grocery store 40 miles away and I really enjoy them I love them but I don't get them that often because the grocery store is about 40 miles away so I said well okay since I'm ordering this other stuff I'm just gonna buy this from the place I bought all this stuff and I tried them, and I don't like these. They have a burnt taste to me. Maybe it's just this brand, I don't know. But I'm glad that I sampled these because I happened to be going by that grocery store yesterday, and I wouldn't have bought my preferred brand thinking, well, I've got this whole canister to, buy, uh, to eat up, so why buy some? And if I hadn't eaten these, I wouldn't have known that I don't like them. So I wouldn't have bought my favorite. And as you can see, yeah, I bought these yesterday and the thing is like half gone. That's how much I love these. And I love these because they like, they have the heat, but they have a little hint of sugar on there as well. And they're actually really, really good. I don't know if other brands that you can buy online have this similar uh, taste. But yeah, this one... I'm staying away from. I don't. I. I may just give this to somebody else. I don't know. I really don't like the taste of that. But anyway, the rest of the stuff. Okay, now this. Okay, this was actually the first one I bought. I'm sorry. This is the first Japanese Kit Kat that I bought. The pumpkin was the second one. Um, this is a dark, I guess, dark chocolate version. And I figured, well, I kind of like some dark chocolate and I like Kit Kat so this would have been a safe entry point yeah so and I guess there's three sets in there like one two and three okay and then this is Meiji's version of Pocky Friend, the original. I wonder if that's short for Francis. I don't know. And uh, it looks like it's extra coated over the pocky, and that the coating is more like a whipped version. So that I'm really curious to try. Let's see. Oh crap! Is my name getting on here again? Let me pause this video. Hold on. Okay, so sorry about that. I must remember to take care of the labels before I start the unboxings, but 
it's all taken care of now. So let's continue, shall we? Okay, this. Pokey! Pokey Panda! Um, this is a cookies and cream flavor. A new Pocky for me. And cute little panda on there and apparently he possesses some unholy power because with his little pocky stick he's managed to turn this little I don't know what kind of car that is but he turns it from a regular mini mobile into a awesomely cool panda mobile and surprisingly it still gets crappy mileage yeah. Fix the gas prices, Panda. Do some good. Yeah. Anyway, oh, and speaking of Pucky Panda, yeah, you can hold on just one second. Do, 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 do. Yeah, on the website, the Glico website, they actually have crafts, and I did one. I made my own Pucky Panda. Yeah, and it looks like he's holding what looks like a cigarette to me. I don't know. But it's, it's this magic pocky stick. You better be careful how you wield that thing, you. I'm watching you. Alright. So yeah, if you want to make your own pocky panda, just go by the Glico website. And even though it's in Japanese, if you don't read it, you don't need to know. I mean, it's self-explanatory. Just be careful, he starts casting evil spells on you. I don't trust him. I'm watching you. Okay. Now, this is another new one for me. I'm, like I guess I like strawberry, but for some reason, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm just not that big on strawberry candy, unless it's like chewy candy, like Starburst or something like that. But, and when, then this one has is a special version of the strawberry it has heart shapes apparently in the sticks can you see that I think you get a better view yeah they molded the strawberry cream around that stick so it has a heart shaped stick and I guess you give this to somebody special maybe this is like for Valentine's or something yeah. Over here. And then this is another midgy friend. This is the Melty Kiss version. And I guess they take the regular stick and coat it in their Melty Kiss chocolate. And then obviously this was a winter edition, hence the uh, snowflakes. And once more, anything I guess with that Melty Kiss, you get that super cool embossing on the box. So yeah, I like this box. And then this, yeah, when I first saw this, like, what? Okay, and then it's like English on that side. This is a Thai version of just the regular uh, Pocky sticks. I think on the site, it said there was some difference. I, I can't remember what they said, but I was curious, and this was really cheap. This is like only like 99 cents or something. It was the cheapest version they had, so I hope that it doesn't taste like the bargain version. <laughs> and apparently, in this box, it looks like there's some sort of you know, get stick, get fun, but it it's a contest of some sort. Get stick, get fun for something, stick and dance contest. I don't know, maybe you're supposed to dance with this or submit it or something and then you could win one of these prizes like a pocky mobile I don't know I'm not sure who knows I wouldn't mind the phone or that though I mean oh no I'd take the car too if they're gonna ship it over here to me probably make me pay for it but. Oh, and then this. This is Giant Pocky! Uh, yeah, there's this right there. Giant! And this is somehow connected to this anime, I guess. 
um, I think it's called One Piece. I know it's hard, it's hard to make that out, but that's like the skull, the O N E P, and then there's a figure representing the I E C, and then an anchor. I just don't know anything about this cartoon, so. Yeah. And then I guess this is like, yeah, it comes with a game inside there. You make, oh, I guess it comes with a board game, and then you cut out these little figures to play with the game. It's probably all in Japanese, so I don't think I'll be playing it. Okay, so that's that box. So I'll put this stuff up here and I took the liberty after I paused to just arrange all this stuff up here. And we put Pucky Panda up here over the offending wasabi peas. Okay, so now uh, the next one. This one I haven't opened yet. This one I got to today. And first thing is more Pocky. This is a mint Pocky. A new one for me. I love chocolate mint. I read somewhere or heard somewhere that Japanese are not fond of mint. I don't, I didn't know that. I'm assuming that's true. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me if that's true or not. They certainly are a, f a fan of <laughs> strawberry. Because I notice whenever there's a product, a chocolate product, they got a, a strawberry version of it. I mean, I don't know. Is this a cultural thing? I mean, why is everyone so gaga over strawberry? I don't know. Okay, this is another one. Wait, I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the second box of this, and I think that's the second box of mint. Because I ended up buying duplicates just to get this order high enough to get the lower shipping. It was like you had to buy more to get the shipping lowered, otherwise it would have cost me more to ship than to get the item I wanted. And the item I wanted, let's get to that, is this. Yeah, I finally found somewhere to get my cookie crust! Yay! <laughs> and I looked high and low for this. Finally found a site that had it. So I'm going to see what this is all about. This cookie crush. And I bought the last two boxes. She had, I think it was a she. Yeah. And I hope that it's worth it. I would imagine so. I mean, if you're a fan of Almond Crush and you like cookies, how can you go wrong, right? Still, I think, well, I never did find a salty cookie crush. I guess they don't make them anymore, and the stock they had on hand is out. So, if anyone knows where Salty Cookie Crush still exists, let me know. And this is another Slim Hockey. And... Yeah, this, again, I had to buy all this extra stuff just to get the lower shipping price. And this is just a big bag of regular Pocky. Okay, so now to part one of the big shipment. And this is a, this was from Napa, Japan. And this is, this box contains all the stuff I ordered straight off of his website if you want to get this for yourself. The other box he's sending me is all the stuff that he had to, <laughs> poor guy was running around town looking for me for, looking for this stuff for me which I greatly greatly appreciate and I thank you so much. Uh, I'll give you a big plug again when that box comes in but let's look at what we got here today. First thing is more Pocky! This is going to be like a Pocky-centric video. <laughs> uh, this is the Pocky Winter Edition. Um, I think that, yeah, this is the coffee flavor, I believe. It's coffee beans on there. And so it's dusted in cocoa powder. It's probably going to be good, but I bet it's going to be dry on the tongue. That cocoa powder hits it. 
Let's see. And this is the other version. This is the regular winter version of Pocky. More cocoa powder, but without the coffee taste. Okay, and this is the Ghana Black. I had a Medji Black. And this is there. This is the other. This is Latte's Black Candy Bar. The authentic, rich flavor of cacao. New standard chocolate. Oh, and there's a picture on the back. What is that? Oh, okay. This must have been put out around Valentine's Day. I guess they're telling you you can make your sweetheart these little treats with this candy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Valentine's Day is past, so I'm keeping this for myself. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, no, oh, this box kind of got a little bit torn up. I don't know. It looked like it was in the shipping or something, but it's okay. This is chocolate mint. More mint. Which, I don't know if the Japanese don't like, but that's what I heard. I don't know. I love chocolate mint myself. But this is n not a not a uh, pocky ripoff. It's just a wafer thing, I guess. Yep. <clears throat> and this is okay, a new one for me. Uh, Tyrol or yeah, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And it's a pack of various different kinds. I guess you have your standard Tyrol chocolate, a milk in there, a white, uh, dreaded white chocolate, and another version, I guess, of their chocolate. I don't know what the difference is between these two. There you go. I guess you, yeah, eight little samples in there. Put that up here. Okay, this is another, you know, I bought some other kinds of Kit Kat in this order. Strawberry cake. It looks good. I probably would rather have the actual cake than this candy, but hopefully it'll, I'll close my eyes, pretend, and it'll remind me I'm eating, or, you know, it'll simulate I'm eating that. We'll see. Another Kit Kat. This is the... Okay, this is another one I bought because of a review by Sound System Man. He reviewed this one, and this is an apple flavor, and I love apples. I don't, again, I'm not a chocolate and fruit person, so I have no idea what to expect with chocolate-covered apples. I, I mean, caramel apples, yeah. Chocolate-covered apples, mm, we'll see. Another Kit Kat. This is the. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it's a green tea. I think. Because, you know, I think I bought one that was green tea and one that had wasabi flavor. And I don't know which this is. Maybe I'll be able to tell when I get to the other one. We'll see. Another Kit Kat. This is again. I don't remember. <laughs> I think this is cookies and cream or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I research and look for this stuff, and then after I buy it, I tend to forget not not only what I bought but uh, the names of it. Um. Oh, did I buy two of these? Oh, you know what? Okay, I think you get to when you bought it. I think that was one of the reasons why I bought that one. Because it was like, you know, two for the price of one. Which is a good deal. And I think there's another one that's like two for the price of one in here. Yeah, that's the second strawberry cake. So they had, yeah, you, get, you got two of those for the single price. And this is another one. This is... I'll have to look this up again. I, gosh. I should have written down these names and then I would remember. Anyway, it's, <laughs> uh, it's a Kit Kat, but it has like, I don't know, it's almost like a tea. Maybe this is a tea flavor. Maybe it's a green tea. I don't know. 
And that's another one, two for the price of one. That's probably why I bought this, because knowing that it was like a white chocolate thing. I think it's like cookies and cream or something, but again. <clears throat> another one. This is... Oh, this is a pear flavor. Yay! I got that one right. Obviously. More fruit and chocolate! Oh boy. Mm. Let's see. I don't know. This mm. banana flavored, huh? I don't remember ordering this one. I don't remember this. Why is that something he just put in there for me? I don't know. I have to check. Let's we'll see. Spread that out. Okay. More Kit Kat. This one I definitely do remember ordering. This was a a cherry blossom and green tea flavor and I bought it because I just thought that box was so pretty. And I like how it has on there to and from. Like you just buy this, write your name on there and just give it as a gift as is. I don't know if that makes you cheap or not. That this was the best you could do and you couldn't even be bothered to wrap it. Huh. Oh well. It's the thought that counts, I guess. They keep trying to tell you that. <clears throat> and Okay, this is another one I bought because of a review. This was the blueberry cheesecake, I think. I love blueberry. And I'm not too thrilled with cheesecake. But, oh, and there it says. Blueberry cheesecake. I wonder the other ones, no, I don't think the other ones had English on there, but, you know, well, that's that one. And, <clears throat> well, okay, I think we're finally out of the Kit Kat family. <laughs> and on to, look! Pudding Parfait, so it's got all this flavoring in there, in the one little candy bite, and as you can see, it's, I guess that's like caramel over some... A pudding or maybe that's like marshmallow and then the chocolate mm. from Fujia. I'm trying to find space for all this stuff. Okay. <coughs> and then oh okay this was a set of four of these things which I think the one I already brought out had this in there didn't it? I put it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I realized that I probably wouldn't have bought these. Like, well, I got a sample pack with it in there, so. I, thought, I think I thought this was different. Yeah, well, I hope it's good then, since I've got extra pieces out of it. <clears throat> okay, and Oreo! Yes, I've not had Oreos in a very, very long time, and I have never had Oreo as a candy bar. It's got macadamia flavor in there, and you know what? Interestingly enough, I believe yesterday was the Oreo cookie's 100th birthday. Yeah. So I guess it's fitting that I got this. Oreo crunch. <clears throat> oh no, wait, I see more Kit Kats in here. This is the, this is the green tea version then. So, yeah, I got so many different kinds, so I'm going to put this over here so I can keep all the Kit Kats together. Oh, that's all the Kit Kats. And I read the Kit Kat is supposed to mean something lucky in Japanese, which is, I guess, part of the reason why it's so popular over there. Apparently, people, kids taking examinations eat this right before as for good luck. <clears throat> okay, this is, this, this. I don't know, the name isn't written in English, I have no idea what company makes this. Isn't that cute? It's like a little, they're cookies, 
with chocolate on it, but it looks like a tree stump. <laughs> eh. And he's apparently the one chopping down the forest, killing the planet. Thank you very much. But hey, it's all for the greater good. It's to stuff this in your face. What he does with the rest of the tree is none of your business, apparently. That rabbit knows, but he's not telling. Okay. See. Oop, my panda fell off. Oop, hold on. Put you up there again. Okay. Alright. Latte or lot. Me, I. Okay, this is. I don't know why I bought this. More chocolate with fruit in it. Fresh cream with double berry. Uh. Yeah. Okay, sorry I had to swap video cards. My one's filled up on me. At least it wasn't the battery this time. But um, anyway, yeah, so strawberries and chocolate. Okay. Next one. Okay, this is another one by Latte. It's another one of those chocolates that has like little. I don't know, air, aerated, like arrow, Hershey arrow, whatever. Vessel in the fog. And it's funny, every time I see this, when I saw this online, I kept thinking that was saying frog. And I said, <laughs> I suppose it's because online it was written vessel in the fog chocolate. And I, I kept thinking maybe of chocolate frogs, you know, like from Harry Potter. I don't know. I hope it does I hope it doesn't you know. I'd rather it were fog than frog. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, another one from Fuji, another look. This has Four different flavors of chocolate in it. Banana, almond, strawberry, and caramel. At least two of the three I know I should like. And chocolate covered bananas. They're, they're okay. I haven't had them that often, but... Okay, and this is another new Pocky. And he had just gotten these in. I guess these just came out, like, really recently. Caramel Pocky... And this is actually the almond version. So it's almond car caramel. And it's a very small pack. You don't get that much, but maybe a little goes a long way. And more chocolate cookie biscuits. This little is a mushroom. Apparently he's... Yeah, I remember seeing this commercial on YouTube and this thing pretty angry about something. I don't know. He had a headache or something and was trying to pull the top of his head off. Freaking out this chick who was planning to eat him. I, or no, she wasn't going to eat him. Uh, she was reaching for other snacks. He got angry and threw down and yeah. I don't know that she ever ate him, which I guess is what he was after. I don't know. Weird commercial, but... And they, I guess you use this stuff as part of decorating. I think a lot of the time they do that in Japan, which is why it comes in these little shapes. Like the tree stumps up there and then mushrooms. So you can use food as decorations. And here's more mushrooms. This is the caramel flavor. Which, you know what? Maybe I'll try. Instead of eating this stuff, I'll use it to make decorations. Which is what food is... Food's purpose is really all about. I guess. Okay. We're almost done. I know this video is running way long. Okay, this is... This is the first green tea chocolate bar that I've ever bought. Or bought, excuse me. Matcha. Uh, I'm hesitant about this. I've 
had green tea before. I'm not that thrilled with the flavor. So, but hey, take something you're not crazy about and put it in chocolate and that makes it better or worse. Depends on what's the predominant flavor, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. And more cookies shaped like things. This is like, these are bamboo shoots, I believe. Yeah. At least they're happy on their box. They're doing cartwheels and yeah. It must be sunny because he's wearing shades unless he's just that cool. Yes. And they explain, or the monkey does, the inside of the cookie, the outside's chocolate. And we needed him, who graduated from Harvard apparently, to tell us this, or explain it. Because we're just that stupid. Okay. okay, and this is Meiji's version of Pocky. This is a spicy one with cinnamon and black pepper. And a lot of people probably wouldn't want to try this, but I do because I like chocolate. I like spicy. I've even been known to sprinkle red pepper flakes in my chocolate tea. Don't knock it until you try it. Don't judge me! No. Okay. Oh, alright, so this is the second box of that mint. I, th I knew I bought two of those. A the space here. Get up there. Alright. Alright, I bought two boxes of that. This caramel pocky. That over there. And then this is the regular one. This is just the... Yeah, that one had almonds in it. This is just the straight caramel pocky. And that famous... Glico runner guy. He's the mascot, I guess. I can't tell what that is. Like, uh, I'm not sure what that is on the side. Okay. Almost done. There's more cookies. More bamboo shoot shaped cookies. And this one has strawberry on it. More fruit and chocolate. But it's pretty. I, it's, yeah. The, the color combination I really, really like. You know, it probably has a good flavor. I hope. Okay, and the very last one is more bamboo shaped cookies. This has got uh, hazelnut, I think. Some kind of nuts on there. Yeah, definitely you have to try to do something decorative with all this stuff before I consume it. Okay. So, we're done. That's it. That's enough. <laughs> so, again, like I said, this is why I had to split this up into two. I mean, this video is probably going to run almost with 30 minutes. <laughs> and this is only half of this shipment. The other one shouldn't be quite as big as this. But, like I said, I also have... A bunch of little mini ones where it's just like one or two items which I'll wait till I get all those and then show those and then the very last quote unquote not big one but big enough shipment that I'm waiting for will be in I don't know maybe a couple of weeks and that one I'm really really excited about because that one's Con going to contain the hardest to find items that I was looking for and I almost didn't think I was going to get those items but this guy the seller on eBay he was so nice again I've got people running all over town for me for this stuff um, but he came through he got the stuff that I wanted that nobody else could get for me and I won't tell you what it is yet you're going to have to wait and see um, and so, yeah, that's going to be the last thing that I get. And then I can finally take the picture, whatever, that I wanted to do. And then finally I get to start eating some of this stuff. It's been kind of hard to have all this stuff and not touch any of it. Willpower. But it's waning fast. 
anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye